What's going on, Redskin fans, or whatever we are? The dysfunction that goes on in our organization is just mind-blowing. It is freaking mind-blowing. Now you get rid of our best defensive player. And it's, I mean, just, I don't even know how to fix this. How do you fix this? This is this is this this is crazy. I mean, if you just go back to Joe Gibbs last game, we lost to San Francisco 49ers in the playoffs. I'm not talking about the second time when he came back. I'm talking about before Dan Snyder when we was with the Kent Cooks. And then after that, Richie Pettibone takes over. After that, we fire him. We bring in North Turner. Owners leave. New owner comes in. We make the playoffs. And ever since then, the dysfunction begins. Begin. First of all, the dysfunction began right there after that, after we lost to the playoffs with North Turner. That's when it begun, right there, when we got rid of Brad Johnson and bought in Jeff George. That was the beginning of the foolery that goes on in D.C. It is just mind-blowing. I could take you all the way from there to this point right here. It's just been constant dysfunction. I mean, as a Redskin fan, you just wonder, do you stay here? I mean, who wants to leave their team? I've been a Redskin fan since 81. This is just every year. I mean, look at our stadium. We're a joke. We're a laughing stock of the NFL right now. This is just... This is just mind-blowing. You got a player saying this is the softest practice he's been around. You got players that's coming here it's like, oh my goodness, what is really going on in D.C.? This is crazy. We went, when I got here in 81, we was, we was all right. And then we won the bowl. Joe started getting us in the right direction. But from 81 to 93, we was a hell of an organization. And just all of a sudden, from 93 all the way to 2018, it's been pure dysfunction. It's so bad now that I'm just like, what do you do? Okay, the, the easy answer, everybody's saying get rid of Bruce Allen. Yeah, that's a start. This whole thing, Daniel Snyder needs to gut this whole thing out. Gut it out completely. Hire a general manager, a football man. You had Scott here, you had a football man here, but then all of a sudden, you get rid of Scott. This is, the, the I mean, the Albert Hainsworth, the, the 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 Robert Griffin, just the losing year after year. I mean, all these quarterbacks we had, we still don't have a quarterback. We had a quarterback just one year in 2012. Mark Brunel did a good job one year. Todd Collins did a good one good job one year, and and Kirk Cousins. Even though we went to the playoffs, we were still nine and seven. The dysfunction, we didn't even build off of that. This is this is just madness. This is this is madness. I mean, this is I mean just being a Redskin fan is just it's horrible. This is just a sad day to to, to be a Redskin fan. I mean the constant dysfunction from Daniel Snyder. And it just leaks all the way down to the coaching staff. Players that were good when they get here, they're not good anymore. I mean, look. Our coaching staff. Sean McVay leaves and look what he does. So it has to be our organization. He's been in St. Louis two years back to back there in the playoffs.
I mean, it, I mean, when Joe left the first, when Joe left the second time, this idiot. Look what Greg Williams is doing in Cleveland. Cleveland's a better football team than us. The Cleveland Browns are a better football team than us. We fired Greg Williams and named Jim Zorn the head football coach in, in, in Washington. Showing you the dysfunction. We hire him as an offensive coordinator before we even hired a coach, and then we named him the coach. Fired him two years after that. Got Shanahan, and I'm ne never in favor of bringing a guy that's won a Super Bowl in already from another team in. That doesn't work in the NFL. Everybody's like, oh, get Mike Tomlin. Get When guys win a Super Bowl from another team, they don't win Super Bowls at their next stop. It's been, I mean, no coach has done that. The greatest ones haven't done that. I mean, the greatest coaches you can think of have not done that. Jimmy Johnson, he didn't do it. Chuck Knox, he didn't do it. Look what he did in Pittsburgh. He didn't He didn't do it again. It was the guy that was in the Raiders, and then he went to Seattle. I can't even think of his name. He, I mean, no, it's never been done. First of all, we need to get a GM in here. We need to get a coach in here. Or we need to get a coach in here that could run the franchise. If I had a say in it, it would be Jim Harbaugh. Bring somebody in here tough that hasn't won a ring, that is hungry and ready to win one. I mean, Philly has gotten a Super Bowl in the new millennium. Philadelphia Eagles. Are you kidding me? The Giants have won two Super Bowls in the new millennium. Dallas just won a division. We cut DJ Swearinger on Christmas Eve. A guy that plays with heart every week. Landing on the line every week. Should he have said what he said? Nah. Should he have said it? No, he shouldn't have said that. But that's, that's just showing you the frustration of this organization and he's only been there two years. And he's frustrated. He's only been there two years. And he's frustrated. Leader of our D. I mean, now, Jay Gruden is playing the hand that he's dealt. I mean, he's just got a terrible hand. It's like playing spades or Texas Hold'em or poker. You just got a terrible hand. And he's still playing that hand. But in order to fix this dysfunction, Jay has to go to because he's a reminder of the dysfunction. So he has to go. First things first, Dan, fire Bruce Allen. Right after week 17, get rid of him, get rid of training staff, get rid of Jay Gruden, get rid of everybody. Everybody that's in there. Shouldn't be nobody in there but you and the janitor. Get on your hands and knees, bring Scott back, hire a new coach, somebody like Jim Harbaugh, like I said, get the hell out the way, and let the, let the football minds run the football team. Simple solution. Fire everything moving in the office. Everything. Get on your hands and knees. Bring Scott back. And hope we can get a coach that wants to coach in this circus.